Hi everyone. In this lecture, I'll discuss the topic called materialization in DBT. So, what is materialization? Materialization is a form of data storage. So, before I talk about the concept of materialization, let me say a few words on the topic called models. In DBT, we have two types of models: SQL model and Python model. In SQL model, we store simple SQL statements whereas when it comes to python model we store python code in it okay so when we deploy these models um, objects will be created in the data warehouse if it is defined as if the materialization is defined as a table then table will be deployed in the data warehouse if it is defined as a view then view will be defined in the data warehouse if it is defined as ephemeral model then nothing will be deployed in case of incremental model table will be deployed so let me just repeat it is a form of data storage materialization is defined either in the config block or in the yaml file so this is how you define the materialization either in the config block or in the yaml file there are four types table view ephemeral incremental python model supports only two types table and incremental now let's discuss the view materialization so when view materialization is defined dbt is going to deploy a view in the data warehouse view on top of source data will have the latest records in them so view is going to be pointed towards a table if that table will be updated automatically view will be updated okay view on top of another view or using the complex transformation are slow to query so the performance of uh, view is going to be slow in two cases if using a view on top of another view or using complex transformation so complex transformation like use of collage function use of case statement somewhere in the view uh, use of type casting so these are the operations when performed in the in the view it is going to slow the performance now let's look at the table materialization so when you are going to use a table materialization dbt is going to deploy table in the data warehouse table is fast to query compared to a view table will not be automatically updated like view so when we talk about view materialization as i said it is going to be automatically updated in case of table we have to deploy the model again in order to get the latest records okay when bi tools are configured use this materialization to give the user a fast experience when using the complex logic in the model tables can take long time to rebuild complex logic like use of multiple joins use of uh, nested queries okay you have to take this thing into consideration use this materialization for less complex logic okay now let's look at another materialization which is called ephemeral ephemeral models are not deployed in your data warehouse their logic is created behind the scene on the fly and that is the reason why it is very difficult to debug in case of any error it can be reused in another model so once it is uh, created it can be reused by another model use this for very lightweight transformations ephemeral models can help keep your data warehouse clean by reducing clutter so ephemeral model is not going to take any space in your data warehouse and that is going to make your data warehouse clean it is not going to be an overhead on your data warehouse now let's discuss the incremental materialization so this type of materialization either insert or update records in the data warehouse incremental models always deploy tables in your data warehouse okay so when the first time you are going to execute the incremental model all the rows will be inserted in the table on the subsequent runs dbt will insert or update only the filter rows that you going to specify to dbt okay so it is not going to insert all the rows only the specified rows that has been has been provided by you 
will be either inserted or updated. So this is what we have uh, for this lecture. Hope you have understood the concepts and um, going forward we are going to have a practical examples.